Welcome everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is season one setup round of the long awaited plunge into A Song of Ice and Fire. So, uh, as you guys have seen, I'd, I've gotten the um, Stark versus Lannister uh, uh, miniatures painted up. So, I've got some Stark cavalry. Uh, we're also including in this one the Clegane Brigands to give them some cavalry as well. And you can go check out my two-part um, paint-through video of getting these minis set up. So, uh, first time playing uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. I've got the handy Song of Ice and Fire rulebook here. I've been through some tutorials and some setup. Uh, I think this, this round, I won't go into an extensive setup. We'll play a kind of, uh, just to call it, a, a, a mini version of a Game of Thrones just to fit on the tabletop. I'll, I'll do this kind of as in solo mode, but it's mostly to get familiar with the gameplay. I'm going to use Rob Stark as the leader of uh, the Starks, and I will place him. Uh, I will re remove one of these sword swor swords, and I'll have uh, Rob take his place there. I will also have. Um, <clears throat> I will also have our uh, um, Umber Berserkers led by Great John Umber as a sort of like my backup. So I will have, I will keep the um, Umber Berserker sort of uh, leader captain figure and I will, I will add in uh, Great Unjohn Umber as well, so you can move those out. Uh, and then I'll also add in a uh, flag for each of these just to balance them out, just so we can sort of have these flags on, on the board. Uh, so that'll be cool. And then also uh, I will have the other Stark Sworn Swords just have the uh, Sworn Sword leader. Uh, so you see those here. So if you look at the, the, we've got Rob Stark. I suppose I ought to pick uh, the young wolf, the wolf lord, and I've got the sworn sword captain. I've got the great John Umber with the Umber Champion as well. And I can pull these cards out. And then I'll also be playing with Caitlyn Stark and Sansa Stark, so I'll just leave them here. Uh, have them up uh, as, our, as our other characters. And we'll bring these down. Because we've got Rob Stark, we've also got the Dire Wolf on, on the board. And then lastly, we're playing with the Cranogman Trackers. I will include the Cranogman Warden uh, as their leader and just replace out uh, one, of the, uh, one of the figures. I'll also have these bowmen up in the front ranks to, uh, to take advantage of, of their of, from an archery point of view. Okay, and then um, move these back. And uh, so then, <clears throat> I mean, I guess we'll have these as short distance. I'll just move these back uh, to the back plane as much as I can. Uh, I, I think I'll move, just have these cavalry up front. And I will have the dire wolf also here with Rob. Uh, and I'm also going to reposition these in the break to make sure all my arrows are pointing forward. Okay, great. Uh, we've got our objectives to place, so I'll place these objectives in the center field, and we'll sort of shuffle these up as well. And we'll just deal out five objectives for those. So we'll get those set up. And can place the other cards off the board. And then let's get over to our Lannister setup. Uh, so again, we've got Clegane 
but I will add in the Kildane Bannerman. And we also have, so we'll have, we'll have Jamie Stark as our, uh, we'll have Jamie Stark, the uh, Kingslayer, and we'll have our backup uh, as Gregor Clegane, uh, the Mountain, as our backup character. Uh, actually, this is Lord Tywin's Mad Dog. Okay, and then we can also have Circe and Tyrion on the board. We'll put Jamie in with the uh, St Stark, sorry, with the Lannister halberdiers. So we'll have, uh, we'll move uh, this forward and we'll have Jamie here with them. And actually I've flipped this board around, which I can do. I'll do it off camera. Uh, and then Clegane Brigands will also put in a Bannerman here. And again, we'll put these other Bannermen. Uh, we've got the, uh, we also have the Captain Guard and Assault Veterans added to the armies here so we can just add those in and put in the flag bearers as well okay and put this flag bearer in and that should do it uh, again we'll move these to the back plane but we will also have again our cavalry in position here And I'll go ahead and place the objectives uh, on the board as well. So the game is going to be played with um, each of these tactic decks. I will shuffle the Lannister deck up. And I will uh, pick objectives for the Game of Thrones style game. Uh, I'm playing it on a little bit of a shorter board here. But it's really just for me to walk through the, the process. And hopefully it's uh, interesting for you guys to watch. I also have all the tokens uh, set aside here. So um, as you can see here, I've got my unit action cards, uh, the different activation tokens, uh, panic, vulnerable, and weakened tokens, and also special order tokens. So I'll have those off to the side. Um, and from the object objectives as well, I've got these picked out. And let's just have them sort of in the in the middle here of the board so here and here we can put like one two three four and five uh, something like this okay so uh, that's going to do it for the for the objectives, uh, we can reveal reveal them during the game, and then I'll sort of come up come over here and clean up my uh, my each of my units. So I've got the Umber Berserkers with the Umber Champion and the Great um, uh, Great John Umber as one unit. That I'll get those guys ready. Uh, I've got the Cranogman trackers with the Crano McWarden. I've got the Sworn Swords with Rob Stark and the Sword Sword Captain for the uh, Stark sword, Sworn Swords. I've got Stark Outriders as our cavalry, and I've got another Stark Sworn Swords with a Captain. Uh, and that's going to round it out for, for them. And then finally for uh, Lannister forces, I will have House 
Clegane Brigands as our cavalry. I've got Jamie, uh, the House Clegane's Mountain Men, led by Clegane. Uh, uh, Jamie the Kingslayer with the Halberdiers. But we also have got the uh, Assault Veteran joining him in his unit. Uh, we also have got the Lannister Guardsmen have each got a Guard Captain. And that's going to do it for those forces. And we set the token to uh, round zero. But we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get into turn one. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will start out with round one. Do a quick read through of some of the uh, first steps. Uh, I, I, do, I do need to kind of go and look at, especially for Rob Stark, uh, there's a number of uh, additions that he gets. So the he has... Um, Order Wolf's Cunning, I can declare a charge, Order Martial Training. So yeah, so I'm going to review all of these and then uh, see you guys in turn number one. I'm looking forward to playing this out and, uh, and learning it with you guys on the board. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll talk to you uh, in turn one. Bye-bye.